Hello, everybody. What a lovely day. What's this? Oh, look! It's the most marvelously magical interstellar cat bus. These are the passengers, each of them on their own special journey. Look at their faces. Look at them beam. Where have they come from? Where have they been? I wonder who'll be driving the cat bus tonight. I say, it looks like Gwyneth Paltrow. Is that you, Gwyneth? Yes. What's the matter? Well, tomorrow morning I'm due to start filming a new movie in which I play a beautiful young English rose who gets involved with a tough New York street cop played by Al Pacino. But as you may have noticed, my impeccable English accent is broken. Oh dear. I suppose you'd like to borrow the cat bus and go and visit the Queen so she can mend it for you. Yes, please. All right. Let's hope you and your passengers have fun on the way. But drive carefully. That's no ordinary bus, you know. All aboard the cat bus! All right, all right, yes, yeah, settle down, everyone, settle down. Now, what would you like for Christmas? Danielle. I, I want a Cindy doll with a Cindy dress and a Cindy house and a, and a, mm, I don't know. All right, all right, good. Now, what, what about you, uh, George? I like a Transformers car, which opens up to be a tank or a plane or a spaceship and a bike oh, and I a guess sea you, tank. You don't want much, do you? All right, um, now, what about the charming Hartley twins? What would you two like for Christmas? Something which shows... The lovely baby Jesus, who God sent down to save us, and who died for all of our sins. Not, not a PlayStation, then? No, something which shows... Which clearly shows... The lovely baby Jesus, who God sent down to save us, and who died, died, died for all of our sins. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd live in a house like this? Naked, writhing bodies lie in a festering heap, as over here a rabbit in a suit holds a stick, impaling what looks like half a human torso. Hmm. There's evidence of a keen interest in waste here. How about this nun watching a grinning maniac vomiting? Now, if we go upstairs, we find someone being eaten alive by a monster with a bird's head. The scene is one of utter chaos as thousands die in screaming agony. Well, let's take a look at the evidence. The cesspit. The bird monster. The flames of hell. What sort of person would live in a house like this? Is it something to do with the horrors of mortal sin? Oh, um, now, is it Meg Matthews? You going anywhere interesting, then? Not really, no. I'm on my way to a talent contest. So what is it that you do, then? Show you, if you like. Yeah, go on, man. Bristol's just south of Wales. Elephants have got wiggly tails. Hand me my tube of blue, cause I'm King of Nepal. It's a bit of shit, isn't it? Yep. No! There simply must be a map of London here somewhere. God damn it! I'm never going to get to see the Queen at this rate. I know, Gwyneth, Gwyneth, why not stop the cat bus and ask someone for directions? Oh, I'm awfully sorry about that, but I was only thinking about myself! Look, Gwyneth, there's someone, why not ask them? What a damn fine idea. Um, excuse me. Yes, can I help you? I wondered, can you please direct me to Buckingham Palace and quickly, because I'm Gwyneth Paltrow! Oh, uh, now then. Uh, le let me think. Um, yes, it's just there. Just follow my hideously distended finger. You can't miss it. Oh, right. Thanks. Bye! I'm from over there. 
I beg your pardon? Infim is the. Right. Infim is the. Oh, you're from over there. In. From over there. Yes, I understand that. I'm just wondering why you're telling me. In. From. Over. The. Yes, all right, but why are you telling me? Watch up, I'm a baby. In a minute, right, I'm going to drop me rattle and start screaming my little lungs out. Now, most people would reckon that was bang out of order. If I was an adult. But I'm not an adult. I'm a baby. And I... Oi! Not so loud, all right! I'm sorry. Oh, I say. It's Sean Ryder and Bez out of the Happy Mondays. What are you two doing aboard the cat bus? We were off for a game of golf. Were? Yeah. We will be playing out if you don't start frightening my owls. Owls? Yeah. I collect owls. I got one of every species indigenous to the British Isles. Look, fucking class, aren't they? Yes, how lovely. I suppose you feed them all on black grapes. No, they live on a diet of rats, moles, mice, beetles and small birds. Oh, look, I got a tawny owl, a little owl, a long-eared owl. I'll say, look at the size of those ears. They ain't fucking ears, man. They're just tufts of feathers. The ears are concealed. Every twat knows that. Sorry, Sean. Anyway, stop mithering me. I've lost me fucking snowy owl. I'm sorry, Sean. I don't know what to say. Uh, hang on. There she is. Come on, Beth. Hello? Hello? Don't look at my face! It's J.D. Salinger, best-selling author of The Catcher in the Rye. Hey up, J.D. Cut the crap, boy! What do you want? It's uh, two adults for nine holes, please. That's a buck and a half and a five-dollar deposit, goddammit! Cheers, Mr. Salinger. Fucking kids. Hey! Not the blue ones! Sorry. And for Christ's sake, stop looking at my face! I say, it looks as though Gwyneth's really putting her foot to the floor. We'll soon be at the palace now, and Gwyneth's accent will be as good as new. Oh dear. What a stroke of bad luck. It's Al Pacino. And he's standing right outside Buckingham Palace. I just hope Gwyneth can make it to see the Queen before Al spots her. Do you know? I'm the man who invented refrigerators. Except when I first thought of them, they wasn't for making ice and whatnot. No, they was for standing on, so as they could see the horses in top field having intercourse. Plus, they they wasn't gonna be all like square and all white coloured. They, they was brown and as big as our barn, with ray guns drawn on the side, like something from a sci-fi film. I was dissuaded from all these notions by my business partner. It were him what added the bits about him being little boxes what kept things cold. Truth be told, he's the brains behind it. But it were my idea. This is Samita. She lives in the remote Zimbabwean village of Lilongwe. Samita has no job, and every day she must walk three miles to the nearest supply of fresh water. But you can make a difference. Just one pound will allow us to smear a pot of German mustard on the top of her head. Or, if you can commit to a covenant of 20 pounds a month, this will allow us to regularly send Samita old videos of Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, and a set of Ernie Ball Extra Slinky guitar strings. But if you can't spare any money, then don't worry. 
If you send us your old spectacles and milk bottle tops, it will allow us to send some meter, some old spectacles and milk bottle tops. Don't forget, you really can make a difference. <laughs> So, Steve McMahon, I'm a man of the match. Congratulations. Thanks. You had a particularly good second half linking up with Alan Shearer, which eventually led to that first stunning goal. Uh, yeah, it was uh, a nice through ball from Incy. And uh, Alan's made a run down the middle, which uh, said their uh, defender's the wrong way. I got a bit of room, gave it a whack, and it's gone in. And I've been reading that you've got infrared eyes that can bore through solid steel and melt lead. Is that right? Uh, uh no. That, that's just something the paper's got hold of, you know. So no truth in that story at all? Uh, no. Spoken like a Chinaman. All the news, all the stories, all the days just blend into one. Here on Fahrenheit 451. Buckingham Palace at last. And there's the Queen. Hurry up, Gwyneth. Here comes Al. Oh, hello. I'm Gwyneth Paltrow. Or at least I used to be before my English accent got all screwed up. Please, could you fix it? I'm, like, desperate. There you go. Oh, crikey, what a charming little device. <gasps> My accent, it's mended. Why, it's absolutely award-winning. Oh, Al, what a surprise. Fancy seeing you here. You know, I simply can't wait to start filming tomorrow. I'm so looking forward to working with you. Indeed to goodness, Gwyneth Bach. Oh dear, Al Pacino's gone all Welsh. It looks like Gwyneth's adventure has all been a complete waste of fucking time. But I have a feeling someone else might be borrowing the cat bus. Eh, Al? But that's another story. Good night. Get on the cat bus, get rid of fire. Hop on the cat bus, we ride through the sky. So hold on tight, it's out of sight. Get on the cat bus and ride. Yeah.